It's opening day. <laughs> Jake, it's opening day. Oh. <laughs> they gobbling already. <laughs> they gobbling early. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, you guys. Aim small, mess small. Yeah. Words of wisdom Johnny. right there. Johnny, don't miss. Good luck, guys. Good luck. It's opening morning here in Massachusetts. We just dropped Cody and James off. And then we're back in here where uh, Jake and Cody listened last night. We've hunted here in the past. We've had some series of unfortunate events here in the past. It's kind of like. A little bit. I hit all the ground right in front of him. Really? Yeah. That might be that might be my mass season. So hopefully this morning's a little different. Yep. Go. Yeah, there's one Tom we think roosted right over the back of this field. We're gonna set up on him for like kind of right when he flies down, hopefully bang him. So we're gonna get going. Hopefully have a good opening morning. It would be super wise to sit here. We'd we'll probably kill a turkey, but we ain't about that life. <laughs> we want to run around like hooligans and shoot them goblin, and uh, that's not what they're doing right now. So we're gonna go try to do something else. A few moments later. Try. Try. I need your help. Try. <laughs> Hi, Drake. You alright, bro? Hi, Drake. I'm gonna need your help. Drake. I can't lift this thing. Drake, push me. Push it down, Drake. <laughs> that is graceful. I see him. 
spot rock wall. I see him. I don't. Tell me when you're off. Okay. He's behind the M lock again. get to witness another one of John's mishaps. Massachusetts, Massachusetts is turning into my missing grounds. That bird, he strutted and drummed. Jake didn't know he was drumming because Jake can't hear it, but he was. Oh, he, no. he, he, I heard him spinning and he was right there. I was like, dude, I definitely can't. He says that to me. He's like, I definitely can't hear turkeys drum. <laughs> But he was right behind this hemlock for Brett to shoot him, for Jake to be on, on him. And I had a shot at like 40, but with the 410, there was just too much stuff. And then he just sat back there and a bunch of Jakes came in or other birds came in. They got all crazy and then he gobbled back down and called him back up. He didn't show off as much that time because he knew those Jakes were around. He came right to here, probably, I'll oh, step it off. I thought I had a super clear shot, but we just looked back at the footage. And, I mean, we looked back on the screen, I could have just completely whiffed, so I'm not making excuses. I've been known to do that. But, the footage looks like I hit a bunch of laurel right in front of him, which I couldn't see in my sight view, like two yards in front of him. So, sometimes you get the turkey and sometimes the turkey gets you. That sucks bad. He gobbled. We heard him gobble. He gobbled twice. And then, good thing we sat down when we did. Cause I sat down and was like, I really like, think it could be gone. It's like, yeah, probably. Yeah. And I, I figured it was like that because of those birds. Yeah. And then I sat down and I just hear, boom. And I was like, yep, there he is. And Saul's fan. I mean, it was pretty. Catch and release style, baby. <laughs> They come in, that's the trick. <laughs> Trying to get them, you get them, come in, no problem. Really hard to harvest a turkey when you don't hit them. <laughs> hey, Jay. Remember what you said this morning? Huh. You hit one or you won it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come in, Brett. All right. Second day in Massachusetts. Didn't roost birds last night because it's quite a drive to get down here. Kind of at that weird distance where it's too close to, it doesn't make sense to camp because we can stay at my place, but it's far enough that it's a son of a gun to drive back and forth. So anyway, we're down here. Um, we're gonna try to get one located from the truck, which I don't think will be a problem. It's a little warmer this morning. I think they should gobble a little better, hopefully. But uh, we're after the same bird. Hopefully we'll strike one. We're just gonna um, try to get them from the road and figure out where they're at. And then not miss it. And not miss, yep. That's an important important aspect of uh, turkey hunting, I guess. I've been demoted. Shooting, yeah, John's filming. I guess, because he just needs to think about what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure he's done plenty of. Yeah. So hopefully we kill a couple today, and yeah, we'll see. Weather's gonna turn, I think, for the worse starting tomorrow, so we really need to make something happen today. Get some birds on the ground. A couple more at least. Alright, we'll see. It's getting light. You should be gobbling here in a minute. This is the bump here. Oh, it's so bouncy. This is the bump here, huh? This is where the bumps happen.
jail. Maybe right there, but I couldn't tell if it was. It was like, ow. Just keep going. I don't think I heard one. I think that one was there. There he was again. Let's go after that one. We're good to hunt over there. Yeah, I'm gonna pull off the road a little more, I think. Right there, right there. That one was right there. That one's closer. Watch what. We got a bird goblin up over there. Brett's in hunt mode, so I'm trying to pinpoint him. We just did a big loop. I think he's right on the edge of this field, not too far. So came around the backside. We're gonna work up this edge. Hopefully get him. He's goblin decent. He wasn't there for a little bit, but he's goblin good now. Yeah, there he is again. Hopefully we can get in there and get tight. Enough. May calm right up this ridge. I think they're all working back to this farm over here, so. Goblin turkey. Couple of them. Get across here. I think there's two of them in there. Yeah, there's one deeper. I think we get in there. Get across that without buggering them. I think we most likely spooked him. He was up in here. There's a field finger that goes back up over there. What we should have done, he had a good, decent vantage, but I'm still kind of surprised he saw us. Um, but there is a little bit of an opportunity for him to see us right through here. But what we should have done is wait until he hit the ground. Once he hit the ground, we would have been able to sneak around easy. So we should have stayed at this corner until he flew down and then moved up around to there because he wouldn't have been able to see us when, once he had flown down. But I even had said that too. But I thought we'd get away with it, but I don't know, whatever. Hey, oh, but, uh, you bump some and you kill some. You know? Keep messing them up, eventually we'll shoot one. Eventually, we either, we either we'll not mess up anymore or we will keep doing it.
tiny as a farm turkey. Those are geese. Making that. <laughs> I think it's a farm turkey. I mean, the farm turkey ain't answering you all the time. I mean, that's not good. That's a long beard, isn't it? I can't tell. Yeah, yes it is. Yeah. I think we can get up in that field and yelp at him and maybe I'll come. Did you see his beard? Yeah, he just go he's gobbling his head off right now. You know, we can't hunt this field, but if we go to the next one, up. Where can we hunt? Right in that field. Make sure that's far enough from houses. I think it is. report all right we just spotted a tom and a bunch of hens that are in this field that we can't hunt but we can hunt the field next to it um tom was hammering we watched him gobble four times when we drove by him um so that's good a that he's gobbling and b that he's alone so we're gonna go try to get close to him and yelp him in and i don't know what else to say hopefully Chirp at him a little bit. hopefully change our luck give him a call see if he calls us back I guess that's really the, the gist of it. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Hopefully it goes back. That's all I can say. How's it going, Brad? Well, looks like some guy beat us to the birds. He's walking in and looked up, and there's a guy walking in front of us head towards him. So looks like we'll go find another one. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. I was thinking about something else. All right, so we just drove back out to the road. Turns out those birds at a 180 are headed. They cross the road and they're headed back in here. So we're gonna end up hopefully getting in front of them here on the other side of the road, which there's no one in here. So I guess we'll see how that goes. May be good, may not be good. We'll find out pretty quick. That long beard was chasing the jakes and gobbling. So he's definitely a bit fired up. So we're gonna try to get in front of him real quick. Hopefully it works. think he'd gobble since he's actively gobbling, right? If you could hear it. Maybe I'll run up to the edge like you said, huh? See if we can get him. Probably I'll wave you up if uh closer and see if that does anything for us. That bird was gobbling on his own with all those streaks. So. I think if he hears us, we're in the chips.
Okay. Straight at us or what? Oh, I see him. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, just be careful. Yep. Careful. They're going to be so close. I don't know if it's a long beer or not, but I'm going to wait till they come out. That's a Jake. Careful. on him for a split second and then he got behind too low. Dang. Well we got one down. Um awesome hunt really. They just came right in. We knew we could probably kill these birds they were so hot. We apologize if what did you have them at all going through I there? Come through all right. You probably have them on here but we got um, behind a bunch of thick stuff and when we shifted I lost them. Yeah. I had them for a split second but I didn't know. There we go. <laughs> you must have been too low or something. Yeah, when you shifted, all I could see was your gun. Well, let's go get it. I'm really liking this Mossberg 940 turkey. This is a 12 gauge, you don't shoot 12 gauges, but this one's so compact. Took the spaces out of the stock and it's got the 18 and a half inch barrel and it hammers birds. And uh, it's sweet to run a gun with. Let's go get this guy. Super light bird. Oh yeah, he's whomped. That's the one good seen. bird. Man, Sweet. I'll say this too. Look at that. One of the things that's really improved my calling is uh, the last few years has been finding a call that actually works for me and fits my mouth and is one that I can blow easily. And, um, See that right there, the Just Hunt Club edition of the Cartel Mouth Calls has been awesome for me. I actually worked with those guys to figure out that I needed a youth frame call or a small frame call because I have a small palette. And then we me messed with different thickness uh, reads and, and read numbers to um, to kind of fine tune exactly what I want. And that's, that's what we ended up with right there. And man, I really like calling on that. And the birds have seen like it pretty well this year too. So if you want, you can go check those out. Um, on, I guess cartel custom calls and pick you up a Just Hunt Club edition mouth call or a slate too right there which is freaking sweet or a pot it's not a slate it's aluminum this thing's super loud I got him fired up with that from a distance and that helped move, him right in that move we made was good when he walked up here yeah so we walked up we actually we can't hunt this is a posted land we can't hunt like 20 yards from us I went up to that edge called from there and they gobbled and I called a couple times got them hammering and then I dropped we dropped back and they came and, right uh, to where you called and they came right, right to where I called worked out real nice and now we got a beautiful Massachusetts, Massachusetts long beard down so Thank you. 